Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'll explain how to draw multiple lines to the same ggplot2 plot in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 5 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that at the top right of R Studio a new data frame object appears. And we can also print the first lines of this data frame object to the RStudio console. And then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our data frame contains three columns, X, Y1, and Y2. Now, if we want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package, then we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines eight and nine of the code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line nine of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions provided by the ggplot2 package, such as the ggplot function or the geomline function. Now, if we want to draw a line plot showing multiple lines in the same ggplot2 plot, then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 11 to 13 of the code. So after running these lines of code, you can see that a new plot object appears at the top right of RStudio, which is called ggp1. And we can also draw this plot to RStudio by running line 14 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom right that we have created a line plot containing two different lines in the same plot window. Now, as you have seen in lines 12 and 13 of the code, I have used the function geomline twice. So this is not a problem in case you want to draw only two or three or maybe four lines in the same plot. However, in case you want to draw many different lines in the same plot window, then this code might get too complex. So for that reason, I want to show you a second alternative in which I'm simplifying the code. And for this second example, we also need to install and load the reshape2 package, as you can see in lines 16 and 17 of the code. I have installed this package as well, so I'm just going to load it with line 17 of the code. And now we are able to use the functions of the reshape2 package, such as melt. And the melt function can be used to convert our data frame from wide to long format. So after running line 19 of the code, you can see that a new data frame object appears at the top right of RStudio, which is called data long. And we can also have a look at the head of this data frame by running line 20 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our new data frame also contains three variables. However, this time the structure of our data frame rows is different. So the column X contains the X values, the column variable contains an indicator whether we are drawing the variable Y1 or Y2, and the variable value contains the corresponding value to each of these combinations. So based on this new data frame, we can now draw a ggplot2 plot containing multiple lines, as you can see in lines 22 to 26 of the code. So in these lines of code, I'm using our new data frame, data long. And then within the aesthetics function, I'm specifying the three variables that are stored in our new data frame. And then finally, I'm adding geom line to this whole code, but I need to add this only once which is the main difference of the previous code that I have shown you before, because in the previous code we had to specify geom line multiple times. So if you run lines 22 to 26 of the code, you can see that another plot object appears at the top right of RStudio, which is called ggp2. And we can also draw this plot by running line 27 of the code. And then a new plot is created, which is containing exactly the same values as ggp1. However, this time we have used a different type of R syntax to create this plot. So in this video, I have shown you two alternatives on how to draw multiple lines to the same ggplot2 plot in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. 
I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.